Antelope Audio's Eclipse 384 is the first of its kind, a multifunctional audio device that easily substitutes five separate high-end products. The Eclipse provides 384 kHz AD and DA conversion, master clock reference supplied by two independent 64-bit clocks, and a powerful and flexible monitoring control. The front panel consists of two large assignable peak meters, five preset buttons, as well as mute, dim and mono buttons, separate volume control knobs for your monitors and your headphones, and two headphone outs. In addition, a multifunctional LCD screen displays important information about the current settings of the device. The rear panel is separated by a cross line that divides it into four main sections. The upper section is for analog, the lower for digital, left is for inputs, and right for outputs. The analog section features two insert points for your AD converter, three stereo pairs of inputs, one main D to A stereo output, three stereo pairs for monitor outs, a dedicated LFE output for your subwoofer, as well as talkback microphone input, a foot switch input, and two Qmix headphone outs. In the digital section, you can find one USB port, two SB diff, two Toslink, and three AES EBU inputs, two main AD AES EBU outputs, and four digited outputs on two AES EBU, one Toslink, and one SB diff. Eclipse 384 also features a word clock and an atomic clock input as well as four word clock outputs that can be clocked independently by whichever clock you select. Eclipse 384 is fully software controlled by a custom USB interface available for both Mac and PC. Once open, the software control panel brings you to the monitor QMix tab. From here, you can adjust your levels for your ins and outs of your monitors, headphones and QMix outs, talkback mic, and select some mono and stereo effects. On the Input Output tab, you can name your inputs and monitor outs, select trim levels, adjust the clocks for each individual digital input, select the system clock, as well as control the tone oscillator. On the ADDA tab, you can control which source feeds your converters and your digital out, as well as which input is fed to your USB. On the Clock tab, you can select how the Eclipse 384 is locked, select sample rates for each clock, as well as determining which clock feeds which word clock output. Finally, on the Preferences tab, you can additionally set some options concerning front HP impedance, the level for the dim option on your monitors, various subwoofer options, select the dual clock mode if you want to work simultaneously with both clocks, select USB class and update the firmware of your device. The bottom of the control panel depicts the front panel of the device itself. So there are two peak meters that you can adjust from the drop-down menus, the five preset buttons for storing and recalling your favorite setups, and the power button for powering your Eclipse on or off. <laughs>